Okay, I have before me a cardboard box and a knife. And inside the cardboard box is a little dot Mark III tube amplifier that I've just ordered. And I ordered it uh, mainly because I love tube amplifiers and this was a great way to get one uh, on my desktop that I'm going to use for desktop audio. The little dot Mark III's had some great reviews um, online and it's really cost effective because it's uh, made in China which uh, nowadays is not always a bad thing if you bear in mind that things like iPads, iPods and all kinds of different smartphones are actually made in China so it doesn't mean it's bad quality anymore so I've ordered it and let's just get rid of this last piece of tape here and we're going to do a bit of unboxing See what this baby looks like in the flesh. Well, it gets fold the knife away. It's don't need that anymore. Okay. Right. So what do we get inside the box? Well, I'm in the UK, so I've got a UK plug. You can see there. Put that on the floor. And this. Okay. That's an interconnecting cable. RCA to RCA, which is good for uh, coming out of a, a digital to analog converter or a CD player directly. But I'm going to be using this for desktop audio, so I'll need a 3.5mm to RCA cable, which I will buy later. But uh, that's a nice looking RCA cable there. Right, so nothing else in the bag apart from the Mark III itself. So. Let's get this baby out and see what it looks like. Okay, it's nice and packaged in there. Let's scroll down here so we can actually see it. Nice, nicely packaged. Quite a weighty little beast, which is always a good sign. Right. Build quality is always important, and if it feels flimsy and lightweight, that's not a good sign. But this feels quite weighty. Okay, there she is. Let's have a look at her. Right, get that more visible. There we go. Let's have a look at that. So, that's the little dot Mark III amplifier. Ah, that's nice. Nice metal knob on there. It's not plastic. I hate plastic knobs. That feels really nice and smooth. No movement there, so it's really solidly built. Nice thick aluminium face here there. Blush, brushed aluminium. You see that's about half a centimetre thick. And uh, there's an aerial view of the tubes. So this is a nice looking little amplifier. Sorry, headphone amplifier. Let's have a look at the back end. Yeah, that's got a nice weight to it. And there you go, you've got the uh, switch on and off, your power supply, and you've got uh, RCA in and RCA out. So you could actually use this as a, a pre-amplifier as well if you wanted to, but obviously I'm just using it for desktop audio only. So there we go. That's one. A nice looking desktop audio headphone amplifier. Man, these valves look really nice, don't they? In the UK, we call these valves, uh, I guess, everywhere else in the world, you call them uh, vacuum tubes, which is fair enough. So, on the front, we've got the, the power here and the phone socket there and the volume there. So that, that's what this baby looks like out of the box. It feels that's a hefty, nicely put together piece of equipment, and I just love this brushed aluminium front there. That's really nice, thick slab on the front. So there we go. It's unboxed. Uh, what I'm going to do next is set it up through my computer and listen to it using FLAC files and WAV files and CDs. Uh, wherever possible to get the best out of it. 
I like this, I'm very pleased I bought this now. Uh, let's see if it lives up to the online reviews and uh, see how it sounds. That will be in a different video, but uh, for now, this is the little dot mark three.